Today, we're diving into a topic that is going to transform the way that you work with your team. We're talking about Asana team management. So whether you are an online coach, a service provider, or any other online business owner, Asana is your key to organization and team management. So grab your favorite drink, settle in, and let's explore why Asana is the ultimate tool for team management, and I'll show you how to use it with your team too. Hi, my name is Samantha. I'm an online business manager and Asana systems specialist. I am here on this channel to help you save time and mental energy in your online business. So if that is something that you are interested in, if you, that is helpful for you, please hit the subscribe button so that you never miss a video and like this video if you found it helpful. And I'd appreciate you sharing it to the world too, if you did find it helpful. Okay, so before we jump into the actual tutorial, I wanna chat a bit about why Asana is so essential and so helpful for team collaboration. So if you're managing a virtual team or even just one virtual team member, or you're working as part of a virtual team and you're having trouble keeping everything on track and things running efficiently and effectively, if you have emails piling up, you have tasks all over the place and you don't have anything streamlined, but you really just dream of this wonderful streamlined way of managing everything, then Asana is here to save the day. <laughs> Asana is designed to break down communication barriers, keep everyone on your team on the same page and organize your workspace through organizational systems and processes. Asana makes it so easy for the team to collaborate and communicate because you have this one centralized place where you see the updates, you see the tasks that are assigned to you, you communicate right within it and it's just so such a seamless process once you really delve in and let it work for you. So before we dive into the tutorial, I would love if you leave a comment below letting me know what your biggest struggle is when it comes to managing your team and team collaboration. Um, I'd love to know if Asana is going to be here to save the day for you. Uh, and I would love to help you out through my experience as an online business manager and running virtual teams and working as part of virtual teams to see if there's any way that I can help you with that or maybe create a future video around that topic. So let me know in the comments what your struggle is when it comes to managing or working with a virtual team. Okay, so let's start with a fun and often overlooked feature, profile photos. So when you first sign up with Asana, you will just have this circle with your initials in it, but I love to make sure that everybody changes it to an image of themselves. I always get my team members and my clients team members to make sure that they have that photo of themselves. It just makes it so much better because you're not seeing these people in person. It helps to, you know, let you know that you're actually working with the real people and you're seeing their face every day and it just it really improves the experience and the team culture and environment and I think it just helps a ton. So what you will do is you'll click on on your initials here and then you will go into your profile, edit your profile. And then right here, you have the option to upload a photo. So uh, that is where you will create your profile photo for everyone to see. And you can, and then you're like a real person with <laughs> your team members. You can also, as you can see, you can also add other details um, in your profile that people can see. So you can add your job title. Um, you can, you know, tell something about yourself. I don't actually have anything in here, um, but if you want to, you know, if you're new to a team and you want people to know more about you, um, when they click on you, they, they will see this. Um, so you can enter any fun information that you would like to in there. And that just can really um, help improve the experience as well. All right, now let's talk about tagging. This feature makes sure that everyone is on the same page and nothing slips through the cracks. If someone needs to be notified of something, it guarantees that they are going to see it. So you can tag anyone in your organization within Asana um, whenever you have a question for them, you just you need their help, or you just want them involved in the conversation for whatever reason, uh, you can tag them in the description like this. So I can tag um, myself, <clears throat> for example. Um, I can tag uh, in the comments, I can go, hey, assistant, <laughs> it was Lucy, um, you know, I have a question, right? Um, and then, so you can tag them and then they will be notified, they will be added as a collaborator down here. So you'll see if I put her up here, actually, Lucy, then she will be added as a collaborator down here. So now she will be notified about everything important that goes on within that task. This makes it so easy for team members to work together and make sure that nothing slips through the cracks, make sure that they are involved every step of the way in that task. All right, so let's talk about comments now, which I already showed you a little bit of. 
comments are a real game changer when it comes to teamwork and when it comes to making sure that everyone is involved in the task and gets their questions answered, gets those updates um, for the task specific things. So you can say goodbye to email chaos or you know trying to keep things organized in Slack. Um, Asana, with Asana, you can keep it right within that one specific task. So you never have to go looking for, okay, what did we talk about when it came to this task and going through all your emails um, when, you, when you come back to work on that task later, right? It makes it so seamless because Asana offers that communication right within the task. So you can easily, it makes it really easy to like take a break from that task and then come back to it later and know exactly what's going on because you can just quickly scroll through the comments and see everything that was talked about with that task. So you can just pick up right, right where you left off. It's just, it's such a huge game changer. So let me just show you a little bit of an example. So here's an example. So say I have a question um, and then you can click comment. Okay, and then you know that person can respond. Here is your answer. You can add images, you can link to things, you can do anything you need to within this task um, so that everyone has all the relevant information. So you can comment that. You can also, something really fun in Asana is you can leave these appreciation stickers, which they just updated and these are all new now, so that's really fun. So if you know someone did a really good job and you wanna just, you know, um, instead of just saying thank you, you can send this a woohoo um, celebration sticker and it, it even so says that I showed my appreciation. So that's really great for your team members to see that you're showing that appreciation in that just like extra fun way. All right, so the next big way that teams work together and this just makes it so, so much better than anywhere else is the inbox in Asana. So you have your inbox. This is where you are going to keep track of all the action that involves you and nothing that doesn't, right? So you can just, you don't have to be involved in the stuff that you're not involved in and you don't have to waste time going through that to like, you know, see if someone's asking you a question or whatever, because it'll just pop up in your, in your inbox um, whenever someone needs your attention on that task. And you can easily remove yourself from tasks as well um, down here in this collaborators spot here. You can click this X. If you no longer need to be a part of that task or that conversation, you can click the X there. People can send messages to you also with the send message button up here. Um, they can, so you can use it kind of like an email if you wanna just have a general conversation. So Asana's inbox, it really helps in keeping you focused on the things that you need to be focused on um, is to make sure that nothing slips through the cracks. So in the inbox, you will see um, all task updates on tasks that you are a collaborator on. You will see, um, so like if someone, you know, completes a task or um, has a question about a task, if people are talking about the task, if they're moving the due date of the task, if they say, okay, I can't do it on this date, I'm gonna move it to this date, you will get all of those notifications within the inbox. So this is really helpful because you don't, you no longer have to hunt down those notifications across multiple platforms. Asana keeps it all in one centralized place for you and only notifies you of the things that you need to be notified on so you are not wasting your time on all the other things. Another great thing about the inbox is you can comment right within here. Like you don't even have to leave your inbox in order to communicate with your team. So you can comment right within here. You can like things like there's like a little, um, you can see that I liked this one um, that my assistant uh, put a comment. So I liked her comment. You can add those appreciation stickers. You can attach any relevant files. You can add to the description. You can change the due date. You can change the assignee. You can do all of those things right within your inbox. So you don't ha even have to leave it and you can just get so much done in that way. It's, it's just a total game changer. <laughs> All right, so let's talk priorities and deadlines. These are essential for team productivity, as I'm sure you know. So Asana lets you set due dates to a specific team member, so it will pop up in their task list, and it ensures that everyone knows what they are working on and when they need to be done it. So here you have your assignee, so you can assign this, I can assign it to myself, and I can assign it a due date for tomorrow, um, and you can also, you know, always change that due date. You can um, organize it within your projects and everything. And then this will pop up in my task to-do list um, in the my tasks section up here. Everyone has this section within their Asana account. So they will see anything that is assigned to them on the date that it is assigned to them on to make sure that everything is kept on track and nothing slips through the cracks. And it's always super clear which tasks you are responsible for and which tasks your other team members are responsible for. 
And the great thing is that you don't have to remember everything because Asana remembers for you. And this is huge when it comes to saving your mental energy because as soon as you think of something, you put it into Asana and you and Asana will remember it for you and then you can just let it go. You don't have to remember it. You know that it is in Asana and Asana is going to remind you of it when the when it needs to. Okay, <laughs> that's enough rambling. I could go on about Asana forever about all the things that I love about it. Um, but the purposes of this video is to talk about team collaboration. So I think I have done that. And I hope that this video has been helpful for you. Please let me know if you have any questions. Feel free to leave a comment down below if you have any questions at all about this process, um, about using Asana as a team. Let me know if there are any topics you would like me to cover in the future. I'd be happy to create a video for you on that topic. I hope this video helped you see how Asana helps to make everything so work so seamlessly and efficiently. Okay, I will stop going on and on now. I will see you next week for another helpful video. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Goodbye.